See, look at that uh, uh, fruit fly just piercing through the skin of my goa. On one side, I'm standing here and trying to protect it, but it, is, it doesn't care. So it's a very tiny and see, look at that. Very interesting, you know, how using the, the back side of it, the laying the egg. Because it's laying the egg, is not going anywhere. So it's a fairly large size fruit and uh, it's pier piercing through that. And so, look at that. Look at that. See, it has pierced through so many on that uh, fruit. It still keep going. Hello, this is our goa tree and the pink goa is already that the fruit fly has did a lot of damage to that fruit. See, see the size of the fruit and it has already you know, damaged my fruit uh, and I'm trying to, you know, to protect this remaining fruit with the backing. You can see that you know how there are so many fruits are there so at least i can salvage some other fruit here and uh, by looking at the each fruit i can see whether they have already made a you know hole or not because see some of them are already there's a mark there so that uh, uh, fruit fly has already uh, uh, lay the egg there so then as the fruit uh, look at this fruit see there's a brown mark there look at this fruit brown mark there anyway I'm going to wrap around them and uh, tie them and but see look at that you know how that, that damage is being done I'm going to break this one and look at that oh no look at that see the how this has actually done the damage of it so this is the pink kofa you can see a lot of lava that uh, the laid egg see look at that the millions of them there so this is the you know great damage once they bite it there's no recovery of these fruits so look at this another fruit and uh, so look at that oh see great this is the thing that i was talking about this uh, uh, so what i'm going to do is I'm, i put them in the back i'm going to discard them so i don't want to give any chance uh, for them to come back and damage my fruit so i will put them and uh, kill them so i will put them in the rubbish bin so for the moment i leave that here and uh, so this is what you know if you have a fruit tree you need to protect them if you, you need to protect them from the fruit fly. Fruit fly is the major, you know, the uh, culprit who is damaging all the fruits. If we leave this fruit, if we don't protect it, and you know, you will not get any fruit. And they are very persistent. See that I was showing that uh, uh, one uh, fruit fly is sitting there still and uh, piercing through the see that can you see that that is still there and laying the egg that is the very fearsome fruit fry that we are having here see this is the this is the fruit fly see
very tiny, but it lay millions of so many number of eggs, and that eggs damage the fruit. I just caught it, plenty of them. You can easily, you know, catch them by hand. And uh, so, still trying to get away from me. So, look at that. See, this is a, this is a small part. They pierce the very sharp, very sharp. They pierce the the fruit skin through this uh, thinny part and then lay the egg. Very beautiful fruit fly, but they cause millions and millions of damage, unfortunately. Mm. Hello. So I, as you can see that, you know, uh, take a look. Uh, I have bagged most of the fruit here, so you can see I have cut, you know, put the bag here. And uh, this is the, the typical size of this guava. We just uh, pulled from it, but this already has been damaged. So I just thought I would actually show you, you know, what is the size, almost, you know, nearly size of a um, coconut. Uh, so that uh, 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 so unfortunately you know they are very uh, I th we can't use this one but uh, if you protect them you get a very good uh, fruit they are very nutritious fruit and uh, they are diabetic health and heart health and they name anything they are very good fruit mm -hmm. so uh, just I wanted to you know uh, <coughs> Uh, nearly getting dark, so I wanted to finish it, uh, and I will continue this batting tomorrow. And um, so, uh, when you bag them, you know to bag them nicely and uh, tie them so that the other uh, uh, birds or insects can't go inside too. Once you tie them and uh, uh, what you do is you know this uh, scissors um, uh, you protect them and uh, make a cut so that you know, can go through I'm going to put back this one this is a special bag uh, for this one and uh, so for a single fruit you do put this one as I did it on our mango tree and uh, tie them so that uh, you know tie that one there's another single one there too so i wanted to uh, uh, show you that uh, some other thing that uh, i have already you know tied together so these are the some of the fruit there are many fruit here on this tree <coughs> you can see that uh, uh, i will be you know gradually protecting them they are worth protecting so thank you very much for watching this video i appreciate your watching this video as well as the uh, other video of our youtube channel and uh, and also appreciate your subscription to our youtube channel god bless you happy new year thank you these are the backing that we have done uh, so far, see so many, uh, maybe 200 uh, some fruits on this tree, and they are very nice, uh, very juicy, very pink, very uh, 
so we are battling again the small tiny um, creature which is uh, destroying our uh, fruit so